We're back with Pokemon Emerald, and I am very sorry if uh, any eardrums got a little damage during the last episode. But to see, I was really, really frustrated with him breaking out of each and every single Pokeball I threw. I'm gonna try to control my emotions so that doesn't happen again. Anyway, we're gonna move on to Reggie Ice and uh, Reggie Steel next. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna have to start using a uh, damn pair off. I'm definitely gonna have to start using a uh, Malatek more often because uh, unfortunately she's only at level 34, and the rest have reached the 40s. Well, uh, not really camp. I'm not using really camp, of course. He's just there because of the uh, rock smash, and um, I need him to activate the veggies naturally. Uh, I'm wondering if I can battle this chick again by right now. Yeah, I can. May I ask for a battle? But of course, I battle you anytime, baby. Yeah. If this thing's uh, still at level 27, uh, this ain't gonna be a challenge. Oh, I did my best. I did it for the money. Hello, it's beginning of goodbye. We meet again someday. I only about her to get a, a quick five thousand. I, I should, I should have used the Emily coin. Uh, are you wearing it? No. If I had an Emily, I would have got ten thousand. So I should use the Emily coin. But what? anyway, uh, we have to surf on this route now to get the red ice. Okay. Let's see. And uh, have I battled these trainers yet? No, I have not. How very convenient for me. I'll deal with these uh, trainers later on. Let's just uh, move, move on with the main objective of today's episode. Now, where was that place again? This dude has nothing better to do than just walk up and down on this mountain. And you know what? I'm curious. What kind of Pokemon do you have? This supposed to be a mystical rock around here. Do you know anything about it? Uh, yes, that's exactly where I'm going. A ruin maniac. What kind of Pokemon you have? You have a Sand Shrew. I'm telling you, a lot of a lot of things in Pokemon games just don't make sense. They make no sense whatsoever. You have a Sand Shrew and a Sand Slash. Okay, this dude has a Sand Shrew and he has a Sand Slash. Now, even though this is pretty common, you would figure that they would have uh, got rid of this illogical situation here by now, because it's pretty common in every Pokemon game. If all you have is a Sand Shrew and a Sand Slash, how the hell did you get here? Because neither one of those guys can fly or use Surf, so how did you get here if that's all you have? That makes no sense, dude. Why are you stranded on this island if that's all you have? Oh. Anyway, uh, ah, random encounter. Tentacool. I mean, Tentacool. Level 9 Tentacool. Oh, I don't have the, uh, the what's the name on Alright, here we are in the next cave. Now I call this um, I call this a uh, scribble, 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 scribble. But someone actually uh, someone uh, notified to me that this is actually a real language that some people in real life actually use this. Uh, I forgot exactly how they said it, but there's a way to like there's a way to trans to translate it, and it'll actually say it'll you know put the things in letters, and you, you can actually read it in English. But I personally just I just really don't have the patience for that. Anyway, uh, this one is very, very easy. All you gotta do is just hug the corners. Make sure that you hug them really, really good. Hug the corners like so. Walk around in a circle. It doesn't matter which direction you go to. And when you go back to the door, voila, it magically opens. How cool. And there's our next Reggie, Reg Ice. Alright, how many Ultra Balls do I have? Let's see here. 59. Oh, here we go again. Someone told me to use a Tama Ball, but nah, I'd rather not. Red Ice. 
out of all the regs, this is the only one I recommend actually using on your main team if you want to use it. It's not bad. It's pretty bulky on, on the special defense side. It has a nice special attack with Ice Beam that definitely come handy against the Elite Four with those dragons. Anyway, I didn't mean to start out with uh, Malotech. I, I meant to start out with a uh, Bell Lawson, but with my luck, it'll most likely uh, hit with Ice Beam when I do that. Let me bring out the Coco first. Super Power. Attack fail. Defense fail. Let me hit it with a uh, Flamethrower. Red Tide's special defense is really, really, really high. It can sponge that pretty well, as you can see. Into power. Okay, you can't take another one of those. Let's see here. Uh, let me dig now. Red Tide's uh, physical defense is not that good, as you can see. Okay, I'm scared to bring up Belasa because I know when I do that, he's going to hit it with the Icy Wind. That's just the way things happen. I'm not going to put it to sleep because uh, I, I need him to be constantly affected with something. Because I'm going to use uh, my little tech to sponge his attack until I eventually catch some of the bitch. So I'm just going to use a... Uh, wait a minute, I missed! Come on, man. Let's let's not start with the bad luck now. Come on. This is that's how it could be low. That might make it easier to catch, I'm not sure. Anyway, stun spoil, please. Thank you, you're paralyzed. There's the ice wind I told you about. Oh. Belas oh yeah, I forgot. Belas uh, special defense is a uh, pretty decent incident. Uh, your special defense is really, really high, isn't it? Woo! Look at that. Look at that. That was really, really close. He has like, he literally has to have about one HP, one hit point left. Or maybe two. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use Malatek because Malatek expunges pretty much everything he has. Not only that, but Malatek has recovered. He's paralyzed. This way, uh, um, paralyzed stays active for the entire battle. I, I don't have to keep switching to Belasna to put him to sleep and stuff like that. And I'll just keep throwing Ultra Balls until he decides to stay inside one of them. Here we go again. Ah, damn, I thought I was gonna get him on the first one. Exit power. That's it. Yeah. My little text speedy bulky, uh she spawns all the attacks. One, two Damn it, damn it, damn it. Someone told me to press uh A and B repeatedly while that'll work. Uh, I know uh, I know that works on the old generations, but I'm pretty sure they fixed it in this one. Because they realized that people were doing that. I'm glad that they decided to add uh something called a uh, a critical capture. In, the, um, in, in black and white, a critical catcher uh, is, is very rare, but any Pokeball will um, add like a massive ball on very rare cases, and that's really, really helpful when you get it on legendaries like this. Uh, this is gonna take a while. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, yeah, see, see when stuff like that happens. Say for example, um, I'm low on health, I can just cover back up and keep on breaking out the Ultra Balls until you stay inside one of them. So I'll get them eventually. Let me cut to the capture, I guess. Stay in the fucking Pokeball, Red Ice. That didn't take as long as Reggie Rock did. I guess I just looked out because I, I normally go through about 30 or 40 Pokeballs before I catch one of these guys. It was just a matter of time, and there's Regice, the Iceberg Pokemon. Took me about, I say about about 20 Pokeballs. Now, actually, it's not as it's not as aggravating in Diamond and Pearl and Beyond because uh, conveniently, uh, the Legendary Trio in, in in that game, they're all found inside caves. Well. Well, not the, uh, not mess bear. You, you probably won't use a mess ball on that, on that side of a bitch. But, uh, as if in the, you see, uh, the, the, um, they're both in the cave. You, you can use a dust ball on it. Put it to sleep with a one hit point from a false swipe. And you have like a 9% chance of catching it with a, with, with, with a dust ball. And that's pretty good. So, once you throw about 10 or 20 dust balls, you should catch it. Anyway, let's go up to the last one. Reggie Steel. And let me save the game for doing this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that um, 
that the Pokeball uh, catch rate also has the RNG, uh, depending on how, uh, what the Pokemon is fitted with. For example, uh, when you um, say for instance that if I paralyze a uh, Rigid Steel and bring it down to like maybe two hit points, I probably have like a four percent chance of uh, catching him with Ultra Ball. So in other words, uh, after I throw about what is that? After I throw about what twenty or thirty Ultra Balls, I should I should catch it. Because uh, you're going down the RNG while you're doing that. I, I guess that's how it works. But basically, basically, uh, you'll catch them eventually. It's just a matter of time, but it's so damn annoying. There's a kicking up there that I'm about. I really don't care about kicking, which is why I'm still sitting there. Wasn't that the cave up there? What was it? What was it over here? I haven't caught that damn thing yet. Huh, Mariana. Here we go. It's, it's this way. What am I? What the hell am I doing? I get more from the berry message. Yes, unfortunately, uh, berries are included in the time events, uh, so I can't, I can't like grow berries and get like the special events that happen once a day because uh, the battery on my thing is dry. Someone told me uh, how to fix it. I forgot how to do that, but oh well. Anyway, here's the last room. We, we, we just gotta stay in the middle, I believe. Is this the middle? Yes. And uh, does anybody on my team have flash? Oh, Nante is hurt. Uh, no one currently has flash, but Belasma can learn it, can't she? And I don't think I need Magic Leaf anymore, and I don't feel like going back, so... Uh, come on now. Flash. I hate ATMs, man! Uh, Belasm is the only Pokemon I have that can learn it, so we're going to do that. Uh, at this point, I don't need Magic Leaf anymore. Let's just go ahead and get rid of it. Actually, I, sh I should have got rid of Pill Dance instead. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna teach the solar beam with the Sunday combo. Anyway, we just stand in the middle and use a uh, flash. It's that simple. There you go. Don't worry about translating uh, translating this uh, ancient text language or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I guess I'll start out with the uh, nine tails. Let's hope I don't knock it out. Alright, here we go, Registeel. Wow, Registeel appeared. Alright, Flamethrower, of course. You dead? No. Oh man, I burned him. Are you kidding me? I can't believe I burned him. Well, I guess I better try catching him since he's burned. What are the chances of that happening, seriously? Ah, that's not gonna work. Can't believe I just burned him on the first flamethrower. Seriously. Nah, this isn't gonna work. Let me just go ahead and set it right now. Okay, an unlucky break there to ensure that that crap never happens again. After I heal Belossum in a way. This time, since uh, status effects cannot stack in Pokemon, sadly. Actually, it's a good thing because otherwise it'd be a very annoying game with people burning you and paralyzing you and poisoning you in one. That'd be, that, that'd just be a cheap way to win. This 
time you're going to paralyze them first. That way, I, I don't have to worry about. Um, I'm also going to lose actually. This way, I, I won't have to worry about. Oh, I forgot. He, they have the clear body. They're immune to that. You son of a bitch. Okay. This way, I don't have to worry about burning him when I hit him with faith, or now he's already paralyzed. Cause uh, you know, that was just that just wasn't right. Haha. <laughs> uh, over here to kill him. Flamethrower does half a health. Unless I get a critical hit. Super power, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Haha. Uh -huh. Attack Lord. And uh, you're not knocking out my pay Pokemon, pal. Let's see here. I don't have any potion. Let's, let's get some lemonade. You're not knocking out my favorite Pokemon, but I refuse to let you do that. Curse. Kill your defense, Rose. Why are you paralyzed when I'm digging? But you aren't going to be paralyzed when I come back up. That's not right. Alright, that's it for Lococo. Next, I'm going to go to uh, Belasma, I guess, since... Uh, Your attacks can't hurt that much. Actually, that pedal dance might be a problem because you use it two times in a row, you'll knock him out eventually. Let me go to uh, Ataria. Ataria has an uh, area ace, and he's not going to fit every ace. Especially now that he, now that he increases his uh, defense. Come on. Alright, I think that'll do. Another hit and you're gonna faint for sure. And just like Red Ice, I'm gonna have uh, Molotech Sponge as a test because uh, Steel moves are uh, ineffective against water attacks. So, it's Deja Vu all over again. I just keep throwing Ultra Balls until you decide to stay inside one of them. Come on, let's not take all day with this. Well, here we go again. Okay, that hurt a little bit. This dude has piled up to the point where he can do, he can do half my health with a metal claw. That's just not right. That's why these guys are so annoying to catch because they break out of all your Pokeballs and they keep doing curses and then they one-shot you. Two, three, stay in the fucking Pokeball, Registeel. We got him. We got him. It took a while, but we got him. All right. The Iron Man Pokemon. Well, the Iron Pokemon. Give it a name? No. Okay, so Regis and Registeel didn't take as long as Regis Rock did, but Regis Rock was just, just, just ridiculous. So, what was that about? 20, another 20, and 40. It took me about a total of 80 Pokeballs to catch these three Pokemon. Well, 80 Ultra Balls, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I was saying, before we uh, end this episode, I guess I'll go ahead and take care of this, um, this uh, new Marvel thing. It won't take long. I estimate it'll take about maybe 10 15 minutes, if that. I haven't plucked those bears yet. To get the new Marvel, you just have to come here, right here. You just have to surf here. Whether or not this was in Ruby and Sapphire, I can't remember. Uh, what's this? Ah, random encounter, Red Kelly, very, very nice. Uh, Ashley, before I continue, I'm going to uh, get rid of that damn dive off of Malatech. Because I forgot what level she learns uh, other moves like Hydro Pump and stuff like that. Let me uh, go to visit the mood deleter for a minute. Anyway, uh, I guess you can also surf here. Alright, let's continue. You can also go this way conveniently. 
What the hell? Okay, you're hello, right? No. Anyway, here we are. This little cave right here. New Marvel. The door is locked. Use the basic yes. And I don't like this uh, creepy uh, music that they got here. A somewhat puzzled place. I think there are, there are wild uh, vault orbs in here. There's nothing too too puzzling about it. It's just annoying. Um, am I trapped? No, I'm not. I gotta go back down and hit this button now. Speaking of trapped, uh, is it is it possible to? Uh, I noticed that they go through through a lot of things to make sure that you don't permanently find stuff stuck in the game somewhere. But oh damn, what's up? Is is it possible to get permanently stuck in a Pokemon game? Cause that would be really fucked up if you could. All right, Malatet learned Rain Dance. Uh, I guess I learned that at a good time, cause uh, it'll it'll be a good it'll be a good teammate for uh, Minum with the with the Thunder Attack, of course. In fact, uh, you you know what I need to do for these uh, for the double battles? I need to give Minum the uh, protect, cause one thing I noticed about the AI double battles, they love to attack the weak person first. So I need to like give him protect. Well, Malate uses uh, Rain Dance, then then Minum can can let loose with Thunder, of course. Pretty pretty uh basic combo, but still very very effective. Magnum, I forgot about this thing. still playing this game uh, competitively this is like a good place to uh, EV train a physical sweeper because you got void towards a man and mice with a special attack and speed of course in a way uh, we got here ultra ball not that I need at this point well actually I still gotta catch a uh, ground on Kyoga and a uh, request of course did I just go with big talk in a circle Oh, I gotta go up here. Uh, what the hell? Oh, I gotta go back there. How do I get that? There we go. Go to here. Repair war off. Damn it. I don't want any more magnemites right now. More Votors, right? Paralyze here. And this is a Votor, of course. Continuing north. That door's locked, damn it all. I think that's where I need to go. Full heal. And this is a uh, Voltor, right? Of course. Anyway, let's press on the switch, and we did. Uh, opens this door right here, and uh, here's our prize for all this hard work. Thunderstone. Oh, you get a thunderstone, not a. Th okay, okay, you get a thunderstone. Okay. Step on the switch. Click. Dear, just be stopped. All right, now we can get out. 
I thought you got a Thunderbolt TM. Uh, I guess I was wrong. It's always been so long since I played it. Or maybe Wallace uh, gives it to you when this is done. Not Wallace, but uh, but uh, Watson. Anyway, with this out of the way, let's go back to uh, to Marvel. All right, where am I going? It's right here. Hey, what's how you doing, buddy? Wah ha ha! I knew it, man. I knew it. Yeah, I made right choices. Do you think this is my team? Thunderbolt? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you return it to him, and he gives you the Thunderbolt team. So that's actually your main reason for doing it, because that that's a very rare ability in this game. Conveniently, uh, I, I trade one over from other games, so it just that's just a plus for me. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. On well, the next part, we're going to go to the Sky Pillar. And go after Rayquaza since this is the Pokemon Emerald version. You can catch Rayquaza before going to the Leaf Four, and we're gonna do just that. Take it easy.